What's your legacy as president of South Africa? And therefore, we must go and look at the real facts. And if we go and look at the economy, we will see that when you became the president in 2018, the growth rate, the economic growth rate, was 1.3%. Last year, it was 0.9%. So under your leadership, the economy retreated backwards, causing havoc for the people of South Africa. We had a meeting with you as leaders on ESCOM, and you yourself said, 20 years ago, ESCOM was seen as one of the best electricity utilities in the world. Who destroyed ESCOM? The ANC destroyed ESCOM. You were in charge of the war room to end load shedding. You failed. When you became president in 2018, the local currency against the dollar was nothing else than 11 rand 55. Yesterday, it was 18 rand 92. That's under your leadership. And if you go and look at the JSE and the loss of 22% in US dollars, while if you, for instance, look at the NASDAQ 100, they gained 147% under your term as leader, and the S&P 500 gained 75%. Those are the realities. If you go and look at the unemployment rate, when you became the president, the unemployment rate was 24%. It is now 32%. If you go and look at the youth, it increased with 20%, where the unemployment rate for the young people, the youth, at this moment is actually 64%. I want to talk about corruption. Honorable Chairperson, or Speaker, the President himself said that the ANC is accused number one when it comes to corruption. And I said, well, that's what the president said. And I said to yourself, but you are number one of accused number one. And now you have a number two who is also accused of corruption. But nothing happens. What happened with corruption in South Africa? The fact is that your secretary general, Fakila Mbalula, he said that they lied to protect the former president in terms of corruption. They must use, the ANC must use this position to defend and to protect the previous president. Honorable President, if you look up at the wall there, you will see there's a banner of Parliament oversight and accountability. There was no accountability. There was no oversight. And it comes to you as well, as the next president after Zuma, when they came to the Pala Pala issue, it was this ANC in Parliament who protected you. Why? You said you did nothing wrong. Why didn't you come forward and be accountable to the people of South Africa? I want to quote what the Archbishop Stanley Mahoba said. He said, and I quote, it is frightening to realize that as a society, we've become so worn down by lies, corruption, and incompetence that we're no longer interested in finding out the truth. We've been captured by lies. Close quote. I want to talk about crime in South Africa. Honorable President, in terms of the Global Organized Crime Index, South Africa now ranks seventh in the world, third in Africa, because of mafia-styled criminal networks and organized crime syndicates. The murder rate, when you became the president, was 35 per 100,000 of the population. It is now 45 
but 100,000 of the population.